She knows who I am. She sees my good deeds and she kisses me when I never worry. Now that is What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are in a Burger King parking lot right now actually that is the drive through right behind me but we are here because there's a creek behind this burger king that i know holds wild brown trout so we're gonna get out on this cold morning and try to catch a few trout we're probably going to get caught up in chubs and whatever else is swimming around but we're going to keep it simple i'm going to use worms small hooks split shots things like that and just hopefully catch a few fish i hope you guys enjoy Man, it's a shame how much trash is back here. <sighs> I mean, we are in the middle of Harrisburg, but still, knowing that there are these beautiful trout back here, and people just dump their stuff, makes me angry. Well guys, this trip is off to a great start. I stopped at my local convenience store to pick up some worms and I got down to the creek and it was empty, not a worm to be found. So I was ripped off. But luckily we are near Bass Pro Shops and they have a bait vending machine. So I'm gonna go up to the vending machine, pick up some more bait and go back to the creek. And hopefully this isn't an omen of how today's gonna go, but let's actually get some bait though so I can catch a fish. Let's try this again. Shout out Bass Pro Shops for actually putting worms in your containers. Came in clutch there. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna give this another try. And this time we have bait. So now when you're using worms um, in these bodies, you are more likely, I think, to catch chubs than uh, trout. But, you know, that is a, a risk I'm willing to take uh, because it's cold. I'm not that great of a fly fisherman, especially in the winter. So hopefully we just catch a few fish and have a good day. Let's get to it. Oh, that's not a trout. It's a big old fall fish. Okay. Um. Oh no. It's not a fall fish. It's a sucker. Can you tell me where the trout are, buddy? It's a big old sucker. Hello, fella. You would make good cut bait, but I'm gonna let you go. It's your lucky day. Look at those lips. A lot of people confuse fall fish and suckers. Fall fish have a similar body structure, but a sucker has a very clear carp-like mouth. So they are a different species than the fall fish, but we'll let this guy go. Thanks, buddy. So I came up on this hole here. There's a, an overhanging tree here. And I've seen fish breaking on the top here. There must be some sort of hatch going on. So I'm going to try to drift through this hole and see if we can pick up any trout. I'm assuming that there's going to be a ton of 
fall fish or chubs or maybe some suckers but this thing has to hold some trout as well so we're gonna hit this hole a few times and keep moving and maybe pull out a trout Not a trout. Not a trout, but it's a fish. They're still pretty lethargic. With it being this cold. You know, they say never leave fish to find fish. But I think we have found ourselves squarely in the nation of creek chub so i may be forced to try to find trout somewhere else i know there's some in here but i may go exploring more but i am right behind the prison here and if i ever commit an egregious felony this would be the worst possible prison for me if I could just watch people fishing from the yard, I would be so miserable. It would be torment for me. I could not be locked up doing push-ups when people are right outside the gate fishing. That would be awful. Who's that wonderful girl? I think we have another chub. And we do. A little chub. Again, predator mouth. Not a sucker. This is a biology lesson. When a mommy fish and a daddy fish love each other, very much I'm just kidding but this is not a sucker not a sucker Yeah, I think it's time for us to go find some trout because I am catching nothing but chubs right here. That's a good one though. Man. Chubs and fall fish are what we have. Notice the spot there. I've gotten into the anatomy differences before too. Between fall fish and creek chubs. But all right, we got to go try to find some trout.
fish on. Do we find a trout? No, we did not. We have a chub. Not a trout, but it's a fish. So right now I'm doing something a bit unconventional. I have a stonefly nymph here and I've tipped it with a worm. Again, I'm just hoping to get something a little more enticing in this cold weather but let's see if we can get a trout we know there are chubs are there trout <clears throat> i certainly hope so they strong that's definitely Yeah, nope. Not a trout. So here we have a big fall fish. So we know that there are fall fish and chubs in here. Notice that this fish lacks uh, the spot on his dorsal fin. That is a very typical fall fish. So we know there are suckers, fall fish, and chubs. Are there trout? Let's hope so. So we have a decent little feature here, a, a little hole with a pile up of rocks, but I can see the fish. And the general rule with fishing is that if you can see the fish, they can also see you. So that's a tough game with the sun being as high as it is. Um, these fish are gonna be this is going to be tricky. Um, I'll give it a few casts though in this pocket. But really sneaking up on these fish is what you want to do. And that's tough when I'm casting a large shadow like I am. It's unlikely that you're going to sneak up on these fish. Man, I lost my worm and this is a chub. Oh no. Okay, there we go. No, it's not. We have a trout. I knew there had to be some trout in these pools. Look at that beautiful wild brown trout just beautiful coloration on these guys they're swimming around with all those chubs so I guess it makes sense for me to keep working through these chubs to try to get at these browns thank you buddy tell your buddies to scare off all the chubs tell them to come my way We have a trout. Beautiful wild brown trout. Buddy. Oh, those fish are just so gorgeous. I love the red and the brown on those trout. Let's get another one.
Any of you ever trout fish next to a Burger King? I have. Fish on. Not a trout. Not a trout. But we are catching fish. We have a trout. Beautiful wild trout. What's up everyone? This is Steven with Everyman Angling. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. If you're interested in some of the lures and soft plastics I use, check out my partners, Susquehanna Custom Lures and Mimic Baits. Until next time, tight lines.